Hello everyone, NHD Global distributors all over the world. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. This is Global Ambassador John Garcia. We have a number of uh, guests that will be watching this prospect, so welcome to you too. Uh, this presentation, we've named it the Year of Massive Success 2021. As we all know, with the pandemic in 2020, it was a very interesting year. And one of the great things about this year, about last year, is many of our new reps uh, and distributors and leaders around the globe learn new ways, develop uh, skill sets that they didn't have before when it came to uh, our technology. And, and thank God, due to our e-commerce platform, we, are, we were able to flourish, particularly in the last 90 days of 2020, and really be one of the top business models this, that this world's ever seen. And moving into now, in January 21st, will be our 20th anniversary. Before I introduce you to the guest speakers here today, I want to just go over a couple of the great uh, new programs that NHD has uh, developed and actually extended from 2020, but they made it even better. So recently in markets, most markets around the world, still the Asian and North American markets, you'll have some announcements here this week about these programs, but we launched again the Achievers Bonus in 2021, made it it even better. Uh, But it's one of the things about NH Global that we're we're constantly, the company's constantly wanting to make the the programs better, faster way to make money, put more money in your pocket for those that work the business. So basically you can go on to the NH2 Global website, click on highlights uh, in in the platform, and you'll be able to come up with the uh, achievers bonus, the uh, IRP and the um, trip incentives that we have going on. So basically with the achievers bonus, as we move up in ranks, we've gotten, today I'll be introducing you to some of our our top ranks in our sister markets globally, uh, and they have achieved these positions through the work of their themselves and through their 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 um, organization. So, some 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 of the things that you're going to see that is new is our Rising Star bonus. We used to pay two hundred fifty dollars for the Rising Star bonus. Now it's three hundred U.S. dollars for qualifying at that uh, rising star. That's incredible. Another $50 in the pockets of new distributors. The other great part of the NH the Global um, Achievers Bonus, if you look at most of the companies in this industry, and obviously I've not uh, looked at all the programs out there, but I'm quite familiar with the top 100 companies in this industry and what they offer when it comes to their recognition plan. So typically in the industry, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you reach the rank, and you don't qualify again at that rank, you're not gonna get paid at that rank. Okay, so uh, just always keep in mind, the only way you're gonna get paid in their uh, recognition plan and and some of the companies uh, put it into their their compensation plan. So the only way you're gonna get paid is when you move up in rank. What NHT has done is they've taken your last rank that you achieved in 2020. For example, let's say your highest rank that you've ever achieved was rank six, okay? But in 2020, the highest rank in 2020 was rank three. So for this achievers bonus, the company is going to recognize you in terms of getting paid at the rank three. So for example, if you stay at rank three, the company, uh, uh, and you qualify for rank three in 2021, the company will pay you $500 in cash, cash, additional over the compensation plan for you to achieve that, okay? Involved in the in the IRP Achievers bonus is our uh, China uh, 20th anniversary event that we're gonna have uh, in uh, September. And basically, it's not going to be a massive event where you're gonna see where we're in a stadium. The company has designed incredible new, little events uh, where people will congregate in China for those that are able to travel there. And also on top of that, we have an event 
celebrating the 20th year anniversary and the ring in the bell ceremony on NASDAQ. That's gonna be sometime in the fall. Uh, and that is quite an accomplishment. NASDAQ is one of the top um, securities uh, uh, firm in the world in terms of the stock market. And to be a part of the NASDAQ is, is quite a recognition, but to be a part of the NASDAQ for 20 years is an incredible recognition for NHD, and we will participate in the opening bell ceremonies, which is an incredible accomplishment. So on top of that, in the Achievers Bonus, you can look at the how to qualify for a luxury car along with that New York trip. Dan and I are gonna be in that uh, New York ringing in the bell, and hopefully all of you that are on this webinar will focus your goals to achieving 2021 event in New York, along with in China. So moving forward, uh, I'd like to introduce, and these are really the stars, it's not Dan and I, and typically every year Dan and I do an opening address of uh, to the leadership globally. But this year we wanted to bring in and recognize our top leaders, top ranked leaders in their certain markets. These are the stars. You know, we just hang on to their coattails and we're so proud of what they accomplished in 2020. Many of them learned new skills and helped their teams learn new skills to take advantage of what was given to us in 2020. That's a testament to leadership. No matter what is happening in their business, no matter what is happening in their life, they're always looking for solutions to grow their business. To start off with, we're gonna to go to Mexico, Quintero, Mexico, Mr. Oscar Mello, who just achieved rank three in the month of November. So proud of this gentleman. He has a massive team uh, right across Latin America, including our second market, first market that we opened up in Latin America, which is Peru. So without further ado, Oscar Hermano. And I'm gonna open him up. Okay, Mosker, over to you. Only you just have to tell him to uh, open his mic. Yes, Oscar, can you, por favor, abrir tu micrófono, activar el micrófono abajo de la pantalla? Está en rojo y de verde. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días, Oscar. Gracias. Hello. Okay. Gracias por esta oportunidad de poder compartir con ustedes mi alegría y mi emoción. Uh, thank you for, uh, for this opportunity to be part of this uh, event and to say hi to everyone uh, and to uh, greet everyone for this uh, new year. He podido encontrar en ustedes eh, la familia adecuada donde pude integrar a mi familia con sanguínea un momento increíble. Eh, realmente, um, I really could um, feel myself like a part of the big family and also include my own family into this big family that we are uh, part of today. Una de las cosas más importantes que hoy por hoy me permite sentirme feliz es que amo lo que estoy haciendo y amo a cada uno de ustedes que me ha permitido vivir momentos muy agradables. Uh, I really love what I do and I believe this is for me like a great uh, inspiration to, to really uh, put my energy in something that I love to do and that I enjoy every day. Una de las cosas más importantes para poder lograr tener éxito, que es lo que he ido descubriendo, es amar cada proceso de lo que yo estoy haciendo conjuntamente con mi sueño y pues sumado a toda mi familia. Uh, I believe uh, I believe that uh, realmente uh, really part of um, of success that I, I could achieve uh, being here is because I really enjoy every step that I make within this uh, process and uh, overall also to to be aside with my my nearest family um, all this combination is, uh, for me, it's uh, just incredible. 
Cuando me refiero a mi familia, me refiero a cada uno de los participantes que están conmigo en el equipo y que tomaron la decisión de poder unirse a mi sueño y hoy sentir la responsabilidad de cumplir el sueño de cada uno de ellos. Uh, when I speak about the family, I really speak about each member that is a part of my team, uh, who work, uh, about every person who works next to me, uh, helping me as well to achieve my dream, and as well I feel like I'm a part of, um, of the team and I'm helping uh, as well all of these people, each of this person in my team, to achieve their own dreams. So for me it's just uh, really a great honor. Sin duda para nosotros, en lo especial para mí, fue un año 2020 muy importante porque me hizo madurar, me hizo entender la importancia que hay de cuidarme y poder dar lo mejor de mí. Um, I, I believe that this year was really um, an, an year when I could learn a lot of things about uh, all that was happening around me. And I believe that uh, part of this uh, make me uh, evolve really and make like a step forward uh, all over the circumstances that were around us. Poder descubrir de qué estoy hecho y saber de qué estamos hechos todos y estamos preparados para poder crear un 2021 excelente con lo mejor para nosotros. Sin duda cada uno sabe el potencial que tiene para poder desarrollar cada uno de nuestros sueños. Uh, I was able to discover really what I was made of, what all of us were made of uh, through this uh, year, which was very particular to each of us. And I believe that it helped us to discover the best, to take out the best of each of us and to take advantage uh, at some point of all this, what we could uh, discover to um, to move forward our uh, to move forward towards our dream and to make really this next year the best for each of us. Sin duda tenemos motivaciones muy importantes como lograr los sueños y sumado a ello eh, los los viajes que hoy por hoy nos están motivando aún más a poder saber que podemos estar en ese lugar en China muchísimos eh, participantes de, de, nuestros, de nuestros equipos. Uh, it's really a great motivation for us, for me personally, to, um, to see how we could, despite of everything, evolve through this year and uh, also to be proud of um, a lot of people who are going to be, uh, to be a part of this great celebration in China. Así que, pues tendremos un Año 2021, excelente. Yo te invito a que entregues todo y puedas poner el corazón por delante para lograr los sueños de cada uno de, nos, de nuestros integrantes de nuestra familia. Así que muchísimas gracias por esta oportunidad y sé que podemos hacer algo increíble para poder crear la diferencia que marca la diferencia en nosotros mismos. Saludos a todos. Yes, I really believe that uh, 2021 could be an excellent year for everyone, for each member of our, uh, of my team and of your team as well. And I believe that we have to really put all our heart, all our um, energy and try to uh, really make it happen for each of us this year that we are uh, moving on. And I believe that it's really possible if we all put our best uh, on the table and we will try to make the best um, for uh, bring the best opportunities for each of us and for every person on our team to allow them to reach their dreams. So this would be like my main uh, message to this 2021. Muchas gracias, thank Oscar. For, thank you for this opportunity to, to speak with you and to send my message to everyone. Thank you, Paulina. Muchas gracias, Oscar. A couple gracias. Of years ago, a few years ago, uh, this lady's uh, incredible businesswoman's um, uh, sponsor in the business introduced me to this lady. 
uh, we did a three-way uh, call, and after the presentation I did with her, uh, with Dalibor, I recognized at that moment, I told Dalibor, Dalibor, you got to do whatever it takes. This woman is very special. I'm going to take you all over, all the way over to Gothenburg, Sweden, uh, Helen Svensson. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for that nice introduction, and thanks for having me here today, or tonight, or this morning, or whatever it is. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you have someone you really love, right? Someone who is your best friend. So, can you tell exactly at what moment that person became your best friend? It normally is not possible to say an exact specific time. And it's the same when you fall in love with NHT. It's something that is built up over time, I would say. So, let's say one day you go to the gym. You come back home, look yourself in the mirror, and what results will you see? Absolutely nothing. So you go the next day again, and you come back home, you look yourself in the mirror, and what result will you see? Absolutely nothing, probably. So um, yeah, it's obvious. Going to the gym does not give you any results, right? or you just know that this is the right thing to do in order to get into shape. So you just continue, even though you don't see any results. You continue with your regime, you do your exercise, you commit yourself to do what has to be done. Yeah, you can screw up once in a while, you can skip a day or two, you can eat a chocolate bar, but you will get back, you will keep your daily routine consistently. consistently and you will get in shape by doing that. And it's all about in, uh, consistency, not about intensity. And this is really my uh, message to you today. Like if you brush your teeth for two minutes in one day, what good will that do for you? Probably nothing. So unless you do it every day for two minutes consistently, if you go to the gym one day for nine hours, it will not get you into shape. But if you keep doing it for like 20 minutes every day, you will see results. So to work with NHT, you are a leader. If you don't have a team yet, you still have to lead yourself. So to become a leader, it's the same. It's not a specific event. There is not one specific thing I can tell you to do to get your people to trust you or to get your business to, uh, going. It does not work that way. It is all the small things you do every day, things that doesn't seem to matter. If you ask someone how they are doing, for example, are you really listening to the answer? Do you care about the person in front of you? Because it is the little things you are doing every single day that people will remember and will judge you by. So who you are in your daily life is really what a leader is and what someone in NHT is, someone who cares about other people. So my tip today is treat people the way you would like to be treated. Take good care of your team. Big and do the things that works and do it consistently. So that's really my tip uh, that I want to share. <laughs> my goal this year is to have 500 rank advancements in my team. That's uh, what I'm heading for and that's what the Vikings are gonna do and deliver. So thanks Joe, that was my message. Awesome, Helen. I, I love that goal. I've just written that, that down. Beautiful message. Happy New Year to you. Happy New uh, Year. Thank you all. Yes, thank you. You look fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna, uh, a couple of years ago, actually about five or six years ago, we were in uh, Istanbul, Istanbul uh, Turkey, and I met this woman for the first time. She had brought six or five or six of her um, uh, friends to uh, uh, this event that we're having for our uh, incredible Russian team. And immediately she stood up from the crowd. She was so positive. One of, uh, one of the greatest attitudes that you'll find anywhere in the world here in NHT. 
Uh, I love her dearly. Sonia Reddy, I'm going to open you up. Okay, go ahead, Sonia. Okay, hi, everybody. It's great to see you all here. And it's great to see some people that I first met in Istanbul, as Joe just said. Um, my journey has been great all along and events are amazing. And obviously I have always encouraged my team to attend all of the events and go to the events. And I am, um, one of my goals for this year is to be in China and to meet you all in China. Um, I'm really excited about that. And my other goal, obviously I've got to follow Helen now and get another batch of people advancing through the ranks, including you and me, Helen, okay? Deal. <laughs> so my tip for people, if you're new, or even if you're not new, if you're in the business, um, is to keep everything simple. And I always try and keep it simple because sometimes people try and complicate um, things for themselves. So I would just always say to be natural, be yourself, don't try and suddenly turn into some, you know, super duper business person and that people are not used to listening. Just be yourself, be natural, keep everything simple when you're explaining things to people. Um, a very big uh, tip that I would always give somebody when they start the business is to tell people what you do. Some people are shy, um, but if people don't know that you've got a new business, then they're not going to know what you do. They're not going to know about the products. Um, when I say keep it simple, I started with two products, the facelift and the Allure Lux. And to this day, um, even though NHT have some incredible products, I still build the business with those two first. And it is a great business for women. Um, I would always say to people to build locally as well as internationally. Um, it's easier to build locally first, understand the business, use your uplines. We've got some great people on here. And that have helped me through the whole um, journey, including Dolliver and Garth and Dan and Thomas and uh, many more of you there. Laurius, I see you. Hi, Laurius. Um, everybody, make friends with people, even if they're not in your team. You can learn from everybody. Um, and look, this business is so simple. It is all about using the products yourself first, sharing the products with others, and sharing the business opportunity. And um, if you've got a team already, stay in touch with your team on a regular basis, communicate with them, uh, set tasks for them. It, it helps them to do things, you know, set up a Facebook group or set up a WhatsApp group. Um, but really, you know, sharing the product with people and sharing the business opportunity is my tip. It's everybody's tip, but it is what works. And what I would say finally is, if you don't share it and if you don't give somebody the opportunity to say no, then they actually cannot say yes. So don't be afraid to tell people about the products and what you do. So Happy New Year, everybody. And thank you all for listening to me. Great. Uh, Sonia, fantastic. How was Dublin right now? Uh, Dublin is pretty wet. Uh, we've had little bits of snow, little bits of sunshine little bits of hailstones, little bits of rain, and little bits of wind all today, all in the same day. That is typical Irish weather. So it's getting dark right now, but we are in serious lockdown here, as I'm sure everybody else is, but we're making the most of it. And it is a great time to learn um, how to you know, communicate online. Uh, I myself this year have learned how to use Zoom properly and set up meetings on Zoom. I didn't know how to do that before. I used to just click on a link that somebody sent me, but now I can actually set up my own meeting. So it's great to, to use the time at home to learn new things. And I suppose we have a great opportunity this year uh, to build our business online, um, even more so than we've ever had before. So, right. And how long, how long have you been in the business now? I've been in the business six years. And um, as I say, it's been an incredible journey. I have traveled around the world with MHT, apart from my first trip to Istanbul. Uh, my very first trip I qualified for was to Hong Kong when MHT was 15 years old. And that was with the help of Dollywer, who really encouraged me at the last minute to go for it. Thank you so much, Dollywer. 
Um, and I'm definitely going to be in China to see them uh, be 20 years old. Um, my second trip was in California. So that was an incredible um, trip to qualify for as well. And since then, look, I've been to Prague and I've met Garth and Thomas and Dolly were in Prague. Um, I've been to Madrid where it's, you know what, it's great to just meet other people from the MHT uh, teams from other countries because we get to share uh, lots and lots of different tips to each other. We get to make new friends. I've made lots of new friends. Um, and I would say, you, you know, everybody, I think Oscar said it earlier, it becomes your family. Um, we're not just friends anymore. We kind of are part of the same family and we all want to help each other. So um, I'm sure I've left out lots of places that I've been to Sweden and Germany and um, where I can't remember the other trips. There's been quite a lot of them. So it's been amazing. Most of them were paid by NHT. So all of them. Uh, the only one that wasn't was when I went to Istanbul and that was just, we thought we'd go and see Istanbul and maybe pop into the NHT event and just check out what was going on. And it it ended up the other way around. We popped into the NHT event and stayed till the end and we didn't really get to see much of Istanbul other than what NHT showed us, which was most of Istanbul anyway. Um, so that was incredible. But yeah, every other trip, uh, most of the other trips have been paid for by MHT. They've been all five star luxury trips, stayed in the best of hotels, brought to the best places. And um, oh, Croatia. Oh, yeah, I've got to mention the speedboats around the island. That was like a James Bond thing. That was amazing. I'm going to turn it over now to hold on. I'm going to make sure we mute everybody. This gentleman that I'm going to introduce you to all the way in in India, uh, he just came onto the scene uh, here with NHA Global in 2020 during pandemic times. It just shows you how this business can run even when we cannot meet people face to face. This gentleman jumped five ranks. He, he qualified last month at rank five. Congratulations, Afraz. And one of the things I love about Safraz is his attitude. Um, and he's always communicating positive messages to his team. And so I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Khan. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thanks a lot. So, guys, hi, everyone. This is Safraz Khan. I'm from Mumbai, the beautiful city which never sleeps. And we are excited. And I'm really happy. And I really want to wish each and every one Happy New Year to the NST Global family. And it's really all beautiful faces I see. I'm really excited to be associated with this organization, this institution, which is really incredible and it's beautiful. So guys, what I see with NHT Global is something what I've seen for myself is this lockdown. A lot of people will disagree with me that, a lot of people have a disagreement with me that when I started with NHT Global during this COVID times, people were thinking that this is something which is not going to be operated in India. And this was something which is going to be looking difficult. So i had started recruiting people i was making in calls 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 that was my attitude that i was ready to take notes i was believing that if i have to be successful there is any way and any chance to survive during this COVID time this is the only business which has to be taken seriously because i'm from a background of banking as i told you earlier I was a banker. I lived my life in Dubai, in the Middle East. I was then I came back. I was also engaged to real estate, and that's been my story with the corporate side of it. And I've seen how we drag ourselves to offices, and how we take ourselves without the love and without the encouragement, and we don't do justice to what we really want to do in life. And we just want to be hanging around something which we're not happy, and we're not doing, we're not enjoying doing it. But this something which is really exciting helping people moving people so what i wanted was i wanted to build a character and an attitude this is the two things what i see in building in team in my team and with the people because this is something which will take you far guys so what i see with my team is i wanted to give them a different character. now i want to i was very really inspired with one story which i would like to share at this platform is there's a gentleman from india by the name of prashant okay now this guy uh, was doing his engineering and while doing his engineering, he was basically uh, get going to his daily routine of college life. And he was always feeling that whenever he was uh, outspoken, the sense of his intelligence to his senior 
uh, you know, the prof professors who were coaching him, he was always not given the same feedback and they always question him that what grade are you and what are you trying to ask us? You know, like they were always, uh, you know, questioning his, uh, you know, his, uh, his intelligence. So he wasn't happy and wasn't looking great about, you know, what he was doing because he was so happy that he'll be an engineer, he'll be having six figures coming in and he'll be really excited in life. But when he was in Pune, when he was doing his course of engineering, he walked across the road, he saw a small little baby who didn't have, you know, uh, hands and he was really, uh, you know, he was overwhelmed and he was really touched with this girl and he he had this uh, you know idea of, of helping people and you know doing something in a good cause and you know doing something for humanity and that was something which he wanted to do for this one you know he always would walk down the street and he would see the small little baby who didn't have hands so he tried to help her out he tried to see that if i could some way get her an artificial or something with a new automation kind of uh, you know these new uh, systems which could really help which really work with your brain kind of mapping and really works with the signals so he tried to figure out and when he found out the costing of getting a artificial hand it was costing not less than 24 lakhs that is like 35000 usd in india now for a poor person to own that kind of money and from a small baby who will keep growing every year from six years to eight years to 12 years she will have to be having a replacement so that is going to be our question to have a replacement of 24 lakh rupees now this man one man one attitude one way of thinking differently what this guy did was he went he upgraded himself he understood he educated he went to institution took international training coached himself and this same gentleman prashant in india he designed a hand at a cost of not 20 not 35 thousand dollars just at the cost of 200 dollars my friend and he gave this free of course to everyone in the country in India and he's helping people and he wants to get disability out from all and everyone and he created an NGO where he's helping people what this is in character this is something which can take people one person can do the change one person can make this happen now this is something which was inspiration when I got this guy's story I said dude if this guy can do it what are we doing we're just working we're helping people we're doing the same thing we are doing something for their health we're doing that we're getting something better for them we are showing them some great focus and save a life which can really growth for them so this is something which really drive me and this really gave created the pattern in me and this COVID, i did calls and i did calls and all the no's turned yes and i became the rank five distributor by with that attitude and the character so guys we need to build a character if we need to go anywhere in life we need to see ourselves in that place and we need to be honest with integrity and we need to be you know a lot of people i've seen myself when i was working in a bank and i always even my friend like you know these people are also gifted by god they have their companies and they have employees and when they mistreat their employees i always suggest them you know this is you know you should be thankful that the creator has given you that chair and you're the boss you know, and he, he, he has selected the employees of yours for that role, you know, and if you mistreat them and if you really put them down, you're not going to get good 100% out of them. And, they, and, if I, and my message to everyone who's working with low integrity, you know, with a low esteem or low value of a job, please don't do that, guys. Don't put yourself low. You guys are powerful. You guys are potential. You guys, if you're working in an institution or an organization where you feel that you're put low, in that belt of you know your work that is something you should not get yourself guys you should believe in yourself focus on yourself get yourself straight in think for yourself god is there he will show you the area of your you know your interest and you will be getting it see my interest was there with networking i'm helping people i've built uh, i have got like last year to uh, 2020 has been a year where we have ranked out we maxed out with the maximum ranks in my team of team eagles because we are not chickens okay we are eagles so we know how to fly so we had 15 to 16 people who who have upgraded in their ranks so this has been a powerful uh, you know we have set up a tone we have set up a message to the country in india and india has beautiful people they have intelligent people we we have the best person headed by google is an indian we talk about microsoft is headed by indian we have all the top esteemed people headed by indian so india is one country which can deliver and which can do things so guys 
everyone in any part of the country wherever you come from this is a system which can go with character and attitude so guys all the best take 2021 explore yourself get that energy and just jump in the drive of moving yourself and upgrading yourself in the rank all the best and thanks for listening to me god bless bye bye thank you thank you awesome message awesome message surprise i'm sure 2021 uh, you're halfway there to global ambassador, so I see it very clearly for you. And Thank by you, the way, sir. ladies Thanks and gentlemen, appreciate India, it. By the way, India was our last country that we've opened up our 50th market in NH2 Global. Dan and I, when we started back January 2001, we had a dream to build all over the world, to every corner of the world, and it's so important to understand. Even today, we're constantly opening up new markets. Uh, as we spread right across the world. Thank you very much, Safras. So I'm going to go all the way down to Lima, Peru. This gentleman and his wife, uh, Gladys, have turned South America and Latin America and the globe uh, of NH2 Global on fire. They have uh, one of the fastest growing teams in all of NH2 Global. When I first met this gentleman uh, a few years ago, he picked me up at the airport with his wife. And instantly, I fell in love with this guy. Within a couple of minutes, I could see his character as Safras kindly uh, shared with us eloquently. Character is real important. And this is this man is all about character. And I can see why he's been so successful in this industry. So without further ado, Mr. Mr. Kazu Mike from Lima, Peru. Kazu? Gracias, gracias, Joe. Muchas gracias. Muy buenas tardes o buenas noches con todos, depende de dónde estén viendo esta transmisión. Primero, oh. yeah. Uh, well, hello to everyone. Uh, good day, good morning, good evening. Depends uh, on don the, uh, on where you are right now. Well, I I say hi to you. Primero agradecer a yo y Dan por apoyarnos siempre y organizar este evento en línea. Uh, first of all, I want to thank, uh, of course, uh, Dan y yo for putting this event together and to bring us uh, to bring us on uh, to this meeting. Muy bien. Creo que 2020 ha sido un año oscuro para todos nosotros en todo el mundo. Uh, yes, I believe that uh, 2020 was a bit difficult for all of us. It was a dark year for, for many of us. Pero también fue un año de mucho aprendizaje para todos nosotros. Pero, uh, well, uh, from the other point of view, it was a year where we learned a lot. Para nosotros en el Perú fue el mejor año para poder hacer conocer nuestros productos. Uh, for us, uh, specifically for us, it was a good year because we had a chance to learn really a lot about each product of NHT. En cuatro años de mercado abierto en Perú, nunca hubo tanto interés y tanto resultado con nuestros productos. Uh, I can say uh, honestly that um, all over the four years that we are in Peru, it was the first time that really people learned a lot about each product and had a chance to use it and to see results for themselves. Hemos podido ayudar a muchas personas que necesitaron el producto en forma inmediata. Y, well, of course, we had a chance to help people get uh, their product very fast and to help them very fast to use it. Y el trabajo en equipo fue lo que ha hecho con que 2020 haya sido un año realmente muy, muy provechoso. Y I can say that uh, the, um, from, from my perspective, um, the work uh, that we all make uh, as a team uh, really brought us uh, to see or discover uh, 2020 as a year of mature prosperity for each member of our team. Tanto en salud, en desarrollo personal y en conocimiento. 
uh, as well and within uh, for us it was good not only from the side of the health uh, from personal development from economic standpoint of view from every point whatever you want to see hemos podido llegar a países que antes no habíamos llegado y uh, we could reach out for the countries that we were not able to do before to reach before y ahora en 2021 esperamos consolidar tres países nuevos, Bolivia, Colombia y Ecuador. Y ahora en 2021 we have a, a great uh, like a vision to unite uh, three countries like Bolivia, Colombia y um, Ecuador. 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 Yeah. Pensamos que ese trabajo solamente fue posible porque fue un trabajo en equipo. And we really believe that it was all possible for us to achieve uh, due to the work, um, our work as a team. Sostenido a través de un sistema educativo y una plataforma Zoom. Uh, and it was also thanks to the system that we have installed, a uh, system of education and communication, which we applied uh, through Zoom. Ese Zoom con reuniones diarias de capacitación y presentación de oportunidad. Uh, where we really had daily meetings, uh, talking about opportunities, about the system, all of this together. Nuestro, nuestro objetivo ahora para 2021 en equipo es llevar a 100 personas para el 20 aniversario de NHT Global en China. Y, uh, clearly, our uh, main goal for now, for 2021, is to, is to take around 100, um, 100 persons to the event in China. Creemos que debemos usar esta gran oportunidad del internet para poder consolidar más y más nuestro mensaje. Y uh, really believe that we have to put a lot of emphasis in el, um, in el, la, en el internet because internet is what helps us really to unite and to transmit our knowledge and uh, bring it uh, across the, the countries. De una mejor calidad de vida. We can uh, improve the quality of life. Salud. Health. Mejor economía. Better economy. Desarrollo personal. A personal development. Y compartir con los que necesitan una oportunidad verdadera. Y really transmit a real opportunity to any person who, need, who needs it. Seamos más fuertes que nunca para poder vencer cualquier crisis que se presente en forma de equipo. And with no doubt we can, uh, we can win any, any, I don't know, like any problem if we are united as a team and we, if we move on as a team. Muchas gracias a todos, muchas gracias por estar aquí y ser parte de nuestras vidas. Muchas gracias. And I want to say thank you for each of you uh, to be uh, to let me be part of your uh, of your life and for you to be part of my life as well. Thank you. Gracias. And Kazu, uh, thank you very much, Kazu. Muchas gracias, hermano. He's only uh, three away from qualifying global ambassador. So looking forward to pinning you on stage in the future, Kazoo. So uh, I'm going to move all the way over to Moscow, Russia. Uh, in 2009, 2008, uh, this lady uh, was introduced to me by Thomas Kanapik and Garth Wright. We met, uh, she brought six of her uh, friends over to um, Bologna, Italy, when we were doing an event there. We met. And I had her in front of our uh, CEO, uh, uh, our, I'm, I'm sorry, our president, and um, uh, one of our other corporate uh, heads. And we sat down in a boardroom. It was six, six men and one female. And she took over the room. 
and told us what she was prepared to do in Russia. So I immediately started sending a product over to her to the US. It would take a month to get over there because we weren't open up in Russia. And I told her and I promised her that uh, when she did a million dollars in sales, I would come to Moscow to do an event for her. Uh, about seven, eight months later, <laughs> she uh, called me and said, Joel, when are you coming? We just did our millionth sale, shipping from the US to Russia. And eventually we opened the great market of Russia and Kazakhstan. And she just qualified this last quarter at rank seven. So she's only two away from going global ambassador. So um, Elena, over to you, Elena. Thank you, thank you for joining. Thank you, Joe. And я буду говорить по-русски. Я приветствую всех и поздравляю всех с наступившим 21-м годом. Uh, well, I want to hey, uh, say hi to everyone and to send my greetings uh, for each of you for this new 2021. Я очень рада присутствовать на этой международной презентации, встрече. And I'm really happy to be a part of this international meeting and to participate with you. Мы прожили очень сложный год. Но этот год показал, что наш бизнес самый лучший в мире. Uh, we really had a tough year, but it only showed us that we really have the best business in the world. Во-первых, мы с вами ничего не потеряли, команды работают, мы всегда были в работе. First of all, we never lose anything because the teams they were keep uh, they kept working, so the process was going. <laughs> Мы научились проводить больше обучений в онлайне, и они очень эффективны. We also learned uh, to make um, much more like uh, learnings online, and they never stopped. И наш продукт показал, что он очень очень востребован для всех людей на планете, потому что он позволяет выстоять против различных вирусов. And also our product show that it's really um, like a product that can stand uh, through for any uh, for any need of any person. Я, например, имела контакты с, с некоторыми заболевшими, но благодаря нашему продукту меня, значит, минул, минул этот вирус, я не заболела ковидом. I personally was in contact uh, with some people who were um, contacted with the COVID-19 um, but uh, I wasn't uh, contacted and I believe this is uh, because of I was using all along the products of NHT uh, to ensure my, uh, my health state. Um, наш uh, business is a командная работа. As already mentioned, um, many of you, our business is a teamwork. It's about the teamwork. Это не только команда, которая развивается в России. Это безусловно и спонсоры, и Томас, и Гарт, и Джо, и Дэн. И это, конечно, все вы, потому что мы все делаем общее дело во имя NHT Global. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not meaning only the team, my team in Russia, for example, but I, I mean the team like an international concept of the team that we all share uh, being a part of NHT. All of us is a part of a great team that is moving forward all together. В наступающем году я и мои лидеры, мы планируем открывать новые города, потому что в России еще много городов, где нет команд, очень много городов миллионеров. In Russia for 2021, with some leaders on my team, we are planning to open up a lot of new cities in Russia because we have a lot of cities in Russia which has maybe over one million people living. 
uh, in those cities and still they don't uh, don't have like uh, access to the products of NHG. So this is our main goal for the next year to come to the cities. Я, например, провожу лидерские обучения и очень хочу и надеюсь, чтобы лидеры России поднялись в ранге директор, золотой директор, и это, надеюсь, позволит мне осуществить, так сказать, завоевание восьмого ранга. I also work with my leaders uh, for them to achieve uh, new ranks like the director or gold director, which uh, from the other perspective will also help me to move on with my ranks. So that is another goal that I have for this year. Я еще раз хочу поблагодарить всех спонсоров, моих спонсоров за поддержку меня, лидеров России, вообще всей страны. I want to take this opportunity again and to thank each leader that uh, our top leaders uh, overall for, for being always uh, available and helping us move, move on no? and develop ourselves, our business. И всем вам хочу пожелать в 2021 году классных клиентов. And uh, for each of you, I want to wish for 2021 uh, like um, good clients, сильных партнеров, uh, unos um, like new, uh, new partners uh, that could be very powerful, very strong. Всем роста в рангах. For each of you to move on in a rank. Очень надеюсь на встречу на нашем юбилее в 2021 году в Китае. Of course, uh, I'm looking forward to meet uh, with all of you um, in this event in China in 2021. Я уверена, что это мероприятие будет грандиозным и позволит и даст толчок многим нашим партнерам гораздо лучше развиваться в нашем бизнесе. And I believe that this event will be really like a step forward and a great um, uh, motivation to a lot of our partners really to see the vision and to connect with the business from another perspective. Всем успешного 2021 года. Спасибо. Спасибо, Елена, спасибо. Елена, спасибо. И, by the way, uh, along with Kazu, uh, him and his wife uh, uh, got a free car, uh, got participated and uh, got recognized for their own Uh, for the car program that NHD has, a very unique pro car program. And last year, Elena uh, was able to uh, purchase a um, brand new Lexus due to the car program. So congratulations to both of you. We're going to go all the way to um, Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, this gentleman, when he first got introduced to the business by Thomas Kanapik and Garth Wright, Um, as I sat down with them, I was telling him my story. When I got started uh, uh, on a scale of one to 10, I was probably minus 10. Uh, I had a burning desire to succeed. So I started working on myself every single day. Uh, and this gentleman over the last 10 years, I haven't seen too many people that I have worked with over the years that has grown as much as this gentleman. Uh, Uh, you know, many of the uh, people that have spoke here today, the leaders are were actually either personally sponsored by him or in his team. So I want to recognize him. He just qualified for rank six, uh, and he's only three away from global ambassador. So without further ado, Mr. Uh, Delibor Strop. Yes. Hello. Thank you, Joe. Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a beautiful year 2021 and um, i believe that uh, we all know this uh, that we can only achieve things in our business because of other people so uh, i would like to thank you all of you guys not only in in uh, our team in uh, all the nht the corporate the leaders uplines downlines doesn't matter you are doing great job because most people actually are not doing the job they are not 
you know, going outside of their comfort zone. So thank you for that. Uh, the last year was uh, quite difficult. My one of my friends is always saying that the worse the better, and definitely it was a very challenging year. And this year gave us uh, an opportunity to learn a lot, uh, to learn a lot about ourselves, about the society, about other people. And uh, it was like uh, you know, on uh, learning on steroids. And it was also a great year for network marketing uh, because I had a lot of phone calls with people who would tell me I would never join any, in a, a network marketing company. I would never touch network marketing. And now they started to reconsider their you know, kind of decision. So definitely, I believe that 2021 will be even better because that's the concept of the future that's the concept which works uh, we are the proof of this all the network marketing companies many of the network marketing companies are having their uh, best year in 2020 so i can see a bright future for network marketing for sure if i should share some of the tips and what i have learned from from this year i have a notes over here so if you see me you know, moving in my eyes, I have some notes, so I don't forget. Um, here are my tips and what I have learned uh, in this year. Don't believe in any, uh, everything what people say. Uh, always use your brain. And also when people are, when you are prospecting other people, uh, keep in mind that they, they will probably not believe you. You know, so try to use some other sources and give them some uh, some other options where they can learn stuff, not only from you. Because if they do the research, if they um, get to the point where they decide for themselves, not because of you, they are much more committed to the business. Uh, another thing, if you are looking for answers, you will always find them within yourself. So I've been asking Joe many, many times the question, why is my business not growing? Why is my business not growing? And it was a matter of fact that I actually knew because I was, I was not doing the job. I was not doing enough presentations. I was not doing enough follow-ups, enough phone calls. So it's very easy to find the answers. We know the answers in most, uh, most cases. Uh, then the next thing, uh, taking action is actually better than just over analyzing things. We can analyze everything. We can analyze the situation, who is right, who is wrong. But if we don't take action, nothing will change. So we, we should re realize that we are responsible for our lives, not people outside, but we are responsible for our life, business life, family life, uh, health-wise, everything-wise. We are the ones that are responsible. And um, another thing what I have learned is that you will see results uh, after some while. Sometimes it could be days, sometimes weeks and sometimes even month. So some, some of you guys already touched this topic. If you are not seeing results, don't stop. Just keep, keep going. You will get there. If you stop at the half of, of the way to uh, wherever you want to go, you cannot be surprised that you are, not, you are still not there. We just have to keep moving one step at this time, second step and third step. So uh, that's another thing. Um, another thing is uh, make yourself accountable. Um, if you want to um, achieve any, any of your goals, make yourself accountable, first of all, um, in front of yourself. So what I suggest to everyone to just write down a list uh, of things what you have done every single day. It could be very simple. I just put, you know, simple um, uh, ticks on, on a paper or you can do it on an on Excel sheet or whatever. 
how many re how many people did you reach out today how many presentations did you did or send today how many follow-ups you did and how many prospects or clients you have and it could be you know don't be afraid to be uh truthful and to to be honest with yourself it's if it's zero um presentations it's okay write it down tomorrow it will be at least one but keep doing all these little steps and don't skip the day uh, if you don't have enough time for 10 follow-ups do two but do it that's something what really really helped me a lot uh, especially this year and last thing is get a coach uh, i know I, I was always you know i always heard this uh, from books and from my coaches that coach is so important i didn't really understood the concept i didn't have the money to hire the coach and i didn't want to spend money which i earned from from the business and this year i just said to myself and i think it's also a kind of a ego kind of things because I saw that I have achieved already some success and now I should ask somebody what I should do and you know pay that person but it was complete revolution in my mind uh, when I was ready to pay a um, couch outside of our, uh, our our company and have somebody who would tell me what I should do what I'm doing wrong and have somebody being, uh, you know, and be accountable in front of that person. It completely uh, changed my approach to the business. So having a coach is definitely a great thing. If you don't, if, if you don't feel that you have, uh, you know, the right situation to hire the coach, just, uh, you know, search for coaches that are doing this online for free. You know, once you get to the point where you can hire the coach, uh, pay for him because then it's your money you are paying and when you say something that yes I'm gonna do it and you don't do it you're just losing your money so you are really committed to to do those things so uh, regarding goals uh, I want to be more consistent I think it's it's really important uh, and consistent meaning what I already discussed um, write down every single day what i have done and do more the next day or do certain level of you know the activities and the second goal i have is to keep leading by example not just you know talking about it but doing it and the most challenging thing for me is to start doing facebook live videos i've been talking and thinking about it uh, for a long time so i'm really scared to do that but i'm gonna do it this year so i challenge you guys do things you are scared of because that's what we do that's what we have started to do when we started with uh, network marketing we've been scared to step outside of our comfort zone but we did it so thank you very much thank you for listening and wish everyone great success in 2021 and thank you guys being you know my my coaches and mentors no matter where you are in the downline cross line it doesn't matter i i, I you know appreciate everyone uh because you had a great impact in my uh, in my life thank you thank you dalabar awesome awesome three away from global ambassador buddy three away yes we're gonna stay <laughs> at uh, czech republic sometimes i don't know where this gentleman is uh around the world uh he you know, I've actually traveled more than 60 countries, and I, I think Garth has traveled more than I have um, around the world. He's definitely living the uh, NH2 Global lifestyle, the founder of Europe. Uh, you know, we would not be in Europe and many in, in Russia and many other countries if it wasn't for Garth and his vision. And Garth, uh, uh, you've been here the longest out of everyone on this call, outside of Dan and I. Dan and I really appreciate you, what you've done, your character, your vision, and your commitment. So I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Wright. Okay. Can you? Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm really excited. It's great to see everyone. It's ridiculous that I went through a whole year 
without traveling almost anywhere. I mean, that's just never happened to me before to do NHT Global events. And I'm so happy to see these faces. And some of them are ones that I haven't been to your to your country yet, but I can't wait to go. And I, I want to give a special shout out to uh, somebody who's on this call right now with a big smile on his face who that beer is. And that's a guy named Christos because I, I give a shout out to him because our business is really fired by the new people that we get in our business who are excited about the opportunity and the sky is the limit and they cause us to get excited. And so Christos is new in the business and uh, I'm guessing that's his uh, beautiful wife next to him. I'm not really sure, but I can see them on the video. And I just want to shout out to them. And I also wanted to especially congratulate Dalibor and Lauris because it's their commitment to India that India was going to happen and that this uh, number two biggest country in the world population wise, unbelievable market, hundreds of millions of people in the middle class, unlimited opportunity that they were going to get it launched and they stuck with it. And they ended up finding amazing people like Aditya and of course, Safraz, who's on our call. So guys, total congratulations. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love that culture. Been to India, love the food, love the people, can't wait to go. And so uh, please, you know, get it together, get those events rolling when the, when the lockdown ends, because I want to get on an airplane and be side by side with you guys, having the time of our lives, be with Sarfraz, be with Aditya and the rest of the team there. So that's kind of my introduction. Um, you know, I've been uh, for 20 years, 16 years in NHT Global, four years in a prior company. So uh, 20 years uh, full time making my income in network marketing. That means all my bills were paid. That means the 65 plus countries I've traveled to around the world, that wasn't mostly paid by the company. That was mostly paid by me because I had to go and support my team. And now I'm ready to go to uh, Latin America. I can't wait to go to Mexico. Can't wait to go to Peru. Can't wait to go to all all over uh, South America. That'll be incredible. And uh, India. And of course, I've been to Russia. I, I've flown into the Moscow airport, I think, 23 times. And uh, I have been to South Korea, I don't know, eight or nine times. And it just goes on and on. And Kazakhstan and Mongolia. And, you know, just amazing amazing life so um here i am as, as this 20-year full-time professional what's my advice well i'll give you these tips um set great goals that you review daily i am constantly revising my goals looking at them and they excite me every time that i do and i read them and i do something which my family would think is crazy so i wait till they leave the house and i read them out loud while i'm pacing the room and I'm excited and passionate about what I'm saying because it kind of burns it into me. I am going to do those goals, okay? Another one is uh, get your head in the right place before you go talking to people, before you step out the door. I don't care whether it's Anthony Robbins or Jim Rohn or whoever, uh, whoever motivates you, whoever gets you excited on a video, in a book, in an audio, whoever that is, um, or maybe it's just going over your goals. I don't know, but please don't step out the door and talk to prospects when your head is down. Get it up, and you wouldn't believe the difference in the amount of people that you can recruit when you're excited. And I personally can meet people and point to my own self and say, hey, this, this uh, slender guy that you see now, he used to be 50 pounds heavier but he got on the products, he exercised uh, regularly, he was inspired by Dan, who first time he came to, to uh, Europe, he, you know, his latissimus dorsi were sticking out, his biceps were bulging, he had this thin waist, and he was doing these dynamic meetings, and I go, man, look at that guy, you know, I'm a, I'm a few months older than him, and he's on fire, and I'm this fat, so I gotta get myself in shape. Dan Cato inspired me, Joe Garcia got going, inspired me, how could you not be inspired with leaders like that? And then I'll tell you this, absolutely, even if you suck at so many other things in the business, if you never, ever, ever stop recruiting, 
inviting people into the business. Six foot rule. They're right over there. Right now we have to do that because of coronavirus. You have to keep our distance. But I'm telling you, anybody who's near you, on a plane, everywhere you go, if you have the attitude that I have the greatest opportunity in the world and I'm going to share it with these people and their lives could be turned around and it could be revolutionize their whole future and their family and they could do like me. You know, I just came back from September and October and half of November in Italy on the coast of Sicily in amazing beach houses, having the incredible trip ending in uh, the mountains of Italy, uh, Dolomites, awesome, in a fantastic cabin in the mountains. I mean, just wow, lifestyle. R when you recruit, just realize this is a gift that you can offer to people. Amazing gift. Don't forget that. Don't be in the business and get, oh, I've been here for so long and I'm kind of tired, but I hope that I get this next level and maybe I'll recruit. Forget about this stuff. Just get excited and go find some new uh, smiling ear to ear Christos to get into your business. Find some new people who are excited about the business. And then finally, my 2021 goal is one thing I learned from a year of lockdowns is I never expected there would ever come a time when I couldn't do a presentation in front of a group of people. I couldn't reach uh, the people across from me, they'd be afraid I'm going to give them some illness or something. Uh, I, you know, I couldn't do these things that I love. And I love face to face contact. I love to hug people. I love to be. I love to go after the event and go to the dance party. I mean, that's me. But in the year of coronavirus, I couldn't do this stuff. And, you know, stupidly, I wasted a lot of time because I didn't do what I really knew that I needed to do. And this is my goal for 2021. I must master, and I'm looking at, at at least one guy, if not actually two or three, who've done this. I must master online recruiting. I must use this tool, okay? Because it's amazing. And uh, I just look at Dolly Bore and think, you know, the reason this guy is here and he's got the level he's got and the business that's growing and everything is because he totally believed in the power of the internet and how it could be used as a recruiting tool. So learn how to do it, even if you don't like it. You know, I'm not a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter person at all. But if I can learn how to build this business using the internet online and, and I don't know, master that kind of approach, I know I'm gonna have more success than I ever dreamed possible. So. Those things I had to share with you, thank you very much, and I'm so happy to see your faces. I can't wait to see you in person. Thank you, Garth. You are excited. I love it. I love this. I love it. Great message, great message. And Garth is just a few short steps away, also from Global Ambassador, and um, I see him very clearly on stage. Uh, me pinning you, Garth, at the uh, Global Ambassador position. So as we move forward, uh, Garth introduced the business to a gentleman by the name of Thomas Kanapik, who just actually hit rank seven. And I first met uh, Thomas at a, an event where, uh, in Ljubljana, Slovenia, correct, Garth? Uh, where you were living prior to your uh, moving to the Czech Republic. And uh, Garth and Thomas basically grinded it out going to Germany, many other countries, pioneering the European markets, and then off to Kazakhstan and Mongolia and, and Russia, all parts of the, those countries. And if you want to know what a big country is, go to Russia, eight different uh, time zones, I believe they have. So I, uh, Thomas is up in the mountains somewhere in northern Spain. So he's recorded a message. I'm going to bring him on. Let's see if I can do this. What are they? Well, whatever they are, first we need to write Hi everyone, this is Thomas from Prague. It's a new year, it's 2021, and I can't believe it's more than 15 years now that I work together with NHC Global to build my dreams, my future, my whole life. When I chose this industry, I made a decision that proved 
to be profound in many ways. It changed me more than I thought uh, is actually possible. It gave me a new direction and helped me become a better person or rather a more efficient person. And it was not easy. And like many others, I had to pay a price, but I chose this and I'm happy I did. A new year also means new goals. I need to constantly think about my goals and dreams. If I don't do it, I get lazy, I get comfortable. Um, I get settled in and my productivity takes a big nosedive. As I think about it, could I actually become comfortable in life? Oh yes, I think I could. And it's very tempting at times, but that would mean giving up something, becoming less, going down and not up. And I don't want that. That's the fastest way to losing out on life itself. So challenging goals have always been the key for my growth. We all need them. I need them and we must pursue them with all our strength. Personal goals, family goals, uh, business goals, NHT global goals. What are they? Well, whatever they are, first we need to write them down, visualize them, embrace them as our daily routine. Have you seen the movie The World is Not Enough? A classic James Bond movie from many years ago. In the NHT global world, there is so much open space, so many opportunities. One world is more than enough for a million lifetimes. South America with, with Mexico is so huge and we're just scratching the surface there. India is being just conquered by many of our great distributors. Russia in the Far East keeps expanding. Wherever I look in Europe, there are opportunities. Will I use them? Of course I will. And that's my goal to fight for in 2021. But I also need to be grateful for people who made this so possible. People that are much better than I am. And of course, the people that I share my life with. I couldn't have done it without them. So guys, use this God-given opportunity of the new year, a new beginning, a new chance for anyone who wants change. But as always, it's up to us. We are responsible. If I want change, I need to do something about it. So what do you want? Spend some time with this question. And when you find the answer, you will also know what to do. Much success in this new and exciting year of 2021. You really trained him well, Garth. You really trained him well. So uh, we're almost nearing the end of our presentation. Thank you very much, leaders. Um, that was an incredible. Better than expected. Uh, awesome. You all blew us away. My little tip for you all here in 2021, I'm going to share you with, with you a quick little story. I first got started in the industry in 1993. It was actually June 23rd, 1993. I started my entrepreneurial career. And the month of December came along and November 30th, I had qualified for the third highest rank in the company. I was so proud of myself. It was a goal of mine. I did it very quickly in my first five months, and I stopped working. You know, Helen had an incredible message on consistency. And I stopped doing the things that got me there on December 1st. And what ended up happening is I learned the first leadership rule. People are always watching our feet, not our mouth. The greatest leaders in the world are the ones that lead by example. And when I stopped working, what ended up happening is everybody else on my team stopped working because I wasn't communicating with them as often as I was doing before. I stopped my consistency. By the end of the month, we were getting paid up once a month uh, back then. And I looked at my volume and I was so upset at myself, so discouraged over my lack of results in December. I blamed it on myself. I realized I went from the Hollywood stage to the no stage. I was no longer a star. And that was a 
greatest lesson I learned in this business in life. So uh, around this time of year in 1994, I sat down and I said, look, these are the, my results in five months, six months, six, seven months in the business. And I want to double that those results. So in my mind, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go look at my contact list, the people that I connected to and shared the business back then. And back then we didn't have the technology. We thought the fax machine was the greatest technology known to mankind. It was just straight grunt work. And this is a, t a tip, something that you need to all write down. If you don't grind the business as an entrepreneur, you will eventually be grinded. You know, all entrepreneurs recognize that you need to grind the business. You need to make the phone calls. You need to hustle to achieve your goals. And so that's what I started doing again in January. And I made a commitment that I would, I would double my activity rate. My first five months, I had a huge amount of activity. Uh, but I doubled my activity rate. The second thing I did is I recognized I was still involved into my comfort zone. And Delaware had spoken about that. And I didn't uh, like to get outside my comfort zone because I was on a scale of one to 10. Again, I was maybe a minus 10. I was growing, personally developing. So I asked myself, what is the one thing that I need to do to get outside my comfort zone? What's the worst fear that I have to accomplish my goals? And that was knocking on doors. I thought, okay, knocking on doors is beneath me. So I decided in that January, it was the coldest month of the year, coldest day of the year. And I decided that next day I was going to go out and knock on doors. So I started, I picked a, uh, a city next to mine, picked a neighborhood, and I went on knocking on doors. I knocked on maybe 70 doors that day. And people would invite me into their homes, offer me some coffee, cookies. I had a few doors slammed on my face. And after those 70 knock doors I knocked on, I felt, you know, I felt liberated. I felt, oh my God, if I could do this, all my other fears, uh, you know, speaking in front of crowds, doing the things. And Adelaber talked about doing Facebook Lives. I thought, it's not just the action, it's how it makes you feel. So I went outside of my comfort zone. So the first thing I did is I doubled my activity rate. It just makes sense for you in 2020, you should be tracking your, your activity and you should be tracking your results. So let's say for example, 2020, you got to X of results with speaking to 100 people about NHD's products and the business model. So if you want to double your activity rate or double your results, just makes sense, just double your activity rate. That's how simple it is as an entrepreneur. That's this, that is the, what I did in 1994. Five months later, I qualified, qualified for the second highest position in the company. So I did it uh, in almost a year qualifying at that rate. So the third thing I did is what Helen said, is I maintained my consistency. I had my on sign on 24 seven. So you gotta understand as an entrepreneur, this is not a job. This is not a business. So most people are just, just most people are just doing a business, but the business has to be a part of you. It has to be within you, in your heart. And that was when that year, the business run, I went from doing the business and getting results to the business becoming a part of me. And that made a huge difference in my results. So it allowed me to have my on-site 24 seven. And back then, in order to develop the business, you literally had to be in an office. You literally had to go and see people. You literally have to travel five, six, seven hours sometimes to meet with people that weren't even qualified. That's how we did the business but it made us stronger, it made us better, and it made us much more focused. In today's world now, we have all this technology available to us, and we've proven in 2020 that when we use technology effectively, you look at all the entrepreneurs in the world right now that are struggling because, they, because of lockdowns, they cannot run their business like they used to.
Think about the ones that are closing, at, you know, in the next 90 days and what has happened in 2020 where they've gone bankrupt because their business model was shut down because of the lockdowns. Think about all these entrepreneurs now. Will they be going back in the same businesses before? Probably not because who knows, We in three years from now, we may have another, you know, natural disaster like the pandemic. The, so what you need to do is now understand with the vision what you have available to you ourselves. Garth had talked about it, vision and Safraz. Without vision, people perish. Without vision, people perish. And perish to me is you're not gonna die if you don't have a vision. It's just that you're gonna have a hard time having a great life. And I learned in that year in 1994 that I can accomplish my dreams by my attitude, by my focus and falling in love with my dream. When I fell in love with my dream, around the same time that when the business became part of me, I became unstoppable. I had a purpose. Everyone in life talks about finding their purpose. And they're looking for something outside of them. And why am I here? What am I doing on this world and this planet? And I recognize my purpose. My purpose was to focus on my dream. And what ended up happening is when I accomplished those dreams, all the other things in my life were increased. I was able to manifest all these other things that came along with that dream, those goals, places I wanted to visit, people that I was interacting with and the impact that I was having on people. So we have the magic in our hands. We have the power in our hands to affect people's lives. And more than ever, people around this world are looking for that purpose. So go out with NHT and share people that they can find their purpose by going after their dream here within NHT Global, because we have a vehicle. We have a vehicle to help people with their health, their beauty, help people with their lives. You know, and every single one of our leaders will tell you, this business has made us better people with more character to lead people. And it's improved our family's lives dramatically. You know, without the personal development that I've had and the quality people I've surrounded myself with, I would not be where I am today as a father, as a husband, as a brother, as a son, because of this business. In 19, June 23rd, 1993, I was in this room. It was my first event. I'm sitting in the back of the room, and it was a super Saturday. We had all these leaders come up to the room. That was the decision that I made to get start when I got started. And there was a gentleman, that, his name was Dan Cattle. Dan had been in the industry, uh, I guess by that time, five years. And he, uh, let's see, he spoke to me in my heart. And at, at the end of the meeting, I saw all these people gravitate to Dan, except for all the other leaders that spoke. And it was because of Dan's charisma, his vision. And I really believe because of the focus. I saw a focus in Dan and a commitment that I didn't see in anyone else. And 27 years later, and it's going to be our 28th year this year that we've been working together. Uh, he's had a big impact in my life. He's a legend in the industry. And Dan, I will turn it over to you. And you have the floor. I'm going to just open you up. You are muted. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Joe. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me clearly? You're coming in good, real good. Great, great. Um, first of all, the visual is very good from my side. Am I coming through clearly like you can see me as well? Yes, you haven't aged a bit the last 28 years. <laughs> well, thank God for these products, right? <laughs> yeah. 100%. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, first of all, um, I am humbled, really, truly, sincerely humbled uh, by all of you uh, in surrounding myself. And I, I heard that years and years ago and it just rings so so true today you are who you surround yourself with 
and I am honored and humbled, and I'm looking at you, feeling you, seeing you, um, and knowing so many of you, uh, not just as business partners, but as friends, and you know, for and you know who you are. You're like family to me, and so many of you I've spent so much time with, and as Joey has shared with you, and it is so true, in pursuit of what you want, it's not so much what you achieve, it's what you become in what you achieve is the is the true experience and goal um, that you get certainly from this this business so uh for all of you i, I love you um and i'm saying that uh, not just from from me but from joe and i um we we've had a tremendous journey here just in the last 20 years this is not fluff or corny or or any of this when we say we're just getting started because we are we really are just getting started. 99.9% of the people in your local markets, no matter where you are in the world, from South America to the Czech Republic, to Europe, to Scandinavia, to, to the UK, to Ireland, to India, to Russia, no matter where you are, no matter what town you're in, 99% of the people have never heard of our products or ever heard of our opportunity. That's a fact. And we've been around 20 years. And we've done well over two billion in sales. So <laughs> when we talk about Vision 21 and where we're going to be in you know 2021, where are we going to be in 10 years? Where are we going to be in 20 years? It's it's limitless. We literally have the globe, the planet, the world in front of us, and we've never had an opportunity like we have today to reach the world. We've got 7 billion people in front of us that love our products and all want a better way of life. And that's a fact, that's a given. Everyone who tries our products, they love our products. And as you know, just about everybody you meet, they want a better way of life. They certainly know someone who does. So when you know Joe and I have gone back and forth, what do we share with you for, for 2021? What do we have in store? for 2021. Well, we're certainly in the right place at the right time. And we've been in the right place for a long time. Gang, just take a look at the space that we're in right now. Joey and I have been kind of waiting for this for like 19, 20 years. What is it? Well, number one, take a look what's happening with home-based businesses. I mean, this is stuff you guys all know. What's happened to the online model with the bricks and mortar, big box stores and all of that? What has happened to working from home, delivery to the home? What has happened to the space in terms of health and beauty? They talk about in any recession or depression or any time there's a downturn in the business, there's two out of three industries that flourish. One is beauty. The other one is direct sales. The other, they say the other one is alcohol. Well, we can't help you there, but we can certainly help you with our product, La Vie, which is that non-alcoholic Bordeaux from the south of France. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we're in that space and we've been in that place for some time. So it's not that the economy has gone away or the business has gone away, it's just shifted. And it's shifted to our place. It shifted to our space. And people are coming to our place and our space. I know as you, all of you were talking today, every one of you, I am taking notes. I mean, you guys should see the stuff I've got written here. It's, I got like nine pages of notes and all of you, I learned from all of you. I've had this conversation with uh, my Viking queen uh, over the years with, with Helen. When, when we get together with our monthly call and she says how much she gets from those calls, she, and I shared this with her some time ago, it's what I get from these calls with her and how much I get from that. I think it's like your children. It's like your organization, your team, and your people, what you get from them. So, gang, we, we have got certainly the greatest opportunity. Joe, I just want to make sure because my low battery thing just popped up. Can you see me okay? Joe, am I, am I still okay? You're okay, yes. Good, okay, because the thing popped up and said, my battery's low. Well, <laughs> I'm supercharged. I just got to charge up my phone here. Anyways, gang, if you look at what we have in 2021, we're in the right place. We're in the right space. We've been there. 
We've been there for years and years and years, and we're only growing in that space with new products that we'll have in 2021. We have new countries and new markets in 2021. We have new incentives and promotions that you don't know about right now, along with these products and along with these markets that we'll have in 2021. Incentives, promotions, products, all of these tools that will be coming in 2021. We've got an incredible year in front of us. I want to have a big shout out to India and celebrating what they've done. Sarfras, unbelievable what you have done just in 90 days and three to four months. You set this world on fire. And, you know, it's incredible. And all of you, you know, all of you that are on the line here, for all of our speakers, you've been watching what Sarfras has done. We have all had that shot where you've taken that big run and that big hit in the business. Sarfraz and his team of Ingalls have been flying in the last three or four months. Now, Garcia, Joey, my man was saying this, and it is so true because Joe and I have experienced this more than anyone. And Joe had talked about it when he leveled off at a certain, certain time when he got to a certain pin level, and he thought he had arrived. He got to, it was in that uh, last company they were with, it was called the gold position. The position he ultimately wanted to get to was called the diamond position. And when he arrived at gold, he thought he had really arrived. He called it the Hollywood stage. And he had just, you know, you can sit at the table of success too long. You can't. If you stay there too long, you'll get fat. And you need to, when you're green, you're growing. When you're ripe, you're rotten. And mo all of you know what to do. Are you doing what you know? Remember that. So in 2021, all of you know what you need to do. If you're brand new, if you're rank one, if you're a rising star, and congratulations on all of you rank one, two, three, four. And wow, we popped a lot of two, three, all of you in India. And I'm celebrating India right now, but I have celebrated every single market that's on this call from Scandinavia to Ireland, to Peru, to Mexico, to Russia, to Czech Republic, all of you at one time, you had that big run. Well, you've got that runway in front of you in 2021. So it's up to you, and you know that. It's up to you. Two things are sitting there. There's gonna be your goal and your dream and resistance. Those are the two things. Goals and your dreams, okay, where you wanna go, and your resistance, the thing that's gonna be holding you back. Whatever wins out, whatever's the strongest will win out. Whatever's the strongest will win out. So I've always said, if what you want is greater than the resistance that you're going to encounter, if what you want is greater than that resistance, you can attain those goals and those dreams. And if your dreams and your goals are greater than your fears, You'll accomplish anything in 2021 and beyond. I love you all. On behalf of Joey and I, we just love being a part of this organization and being a part of all of you. The virus was, will be behind us. COVID will be behind us. We'll be all together again, face to face. The virtual world, which we're on top of, that we've really connected with and we're reaching around the world with, it's just another part to our model as we go forward and makes us even bigger and stronger. We'll stay together through that until we get face to face in China, in Beijing, in Singapore, in India, in Peru, in Scandinavia, in Russia, in Mexico in the future, because we will be with you. Love you all. Joey, back to you, buddy. Awesome message, Dan. We now are finished. You know, uh, just on time, right, Dan? We're right on time. I said this call would be about 45 minutes and we're good now in 45. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, the year of massive success. Say that multiple times every day. 2021, the year, excuse me, the year of massive success. It's embedded in my brain and to, deep into my subconscious. We appreciate all of you. This has been recorded uh, and I will be sending it out here over the next couple of days. For those that weren't able to get on because of other commitments thanks very much everyone uh to our leaders around the globe god bless you all and and i are committed 
having your best year ever in 2021. And I can't think of another way to start it off like this, Dan. It was a, probably the best presentation I've seen here at HD. So thanks very much. much.